Rafters, welcome to Rafter TV. My name is Ryan. Let's dive right into the Rafter Rundown. Next week is Homecoming. Make sure to get your tickets as soon as possible before time runs out. This year's theme is Road Trip. Make sure to dress up next week for Comfy Car Day, Sun or Snow Day, Colorado Day, Patriots Day, and Spirit Day on Friday. Also, don't forget Homecoming is next week on Saturday. After this break, we'll have our Ask the Nest segment on Homecoming. Today's Ask the Nest, the topic is homecoming. Yeah, bro, I'm coming to talk to Jesus. Bro, Raptor oh, TV. My fault. Bro, I gotta... Um, hey guys, it is Raptor TV, Ask the Nest, episode four, and we're taking you with us to ask about homecoming. And what else? And about the homecoming game, because you can't forget about the Raptors, because, you know, the Raptor way is the best way. How do you feel about homecoming? Uh, I feel like it's going to be lit. It's going to be an enjoyable experience for more people. Um, I think it's really fun. I think it's a place where you can hang out with your friends and just have fun. All right, all right. I see you. Um, what do you think about home? What do you think about the homecoming game, though? Um, I think it's really competitive. Being a football player, you know, Eagle Crest, we taking it all. We got y'all. There you have it, guys. Thank you. You already interviewed me. What do you need? Yeah, Mr. Eric. He's a hater. He always tells me to take my hood off. Hater. No hoodies. No hoodies, no hats, no hair coverings. Wear your hats, head coverings, bandanas, hoodies. No, no, no bandanas. I guess it's a one night where you can have fun and do a bunch of other cool things. Who do you think is going to win the homecoming game? Uh, I think Eagle Crest. Yeah, Eagle Crest is a good school. You already know. Uh, homecoming in general, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan. I mean, I, I don't dislike it, but it's just kind of like in the middle. I'm one of those people, I don't know. All right, uh, I see you too. I see you, being honest. What do you think of homecoming in general? It's cool. Um, uh, it's cool, it's a way to just get out and uh, just do stuff outside of school that's not just education. And yeah. Okay, yeah, true. I guess. <laughs> Next up, we have a Raptor spotlight on our cross country team. But first, these messages. Hey Raptors, homecoming is just around the corner and we have a great deal for you. For $25 with activities fee and 30 without, you can buy the Spirit Pack, which includes a homecoming t-shirt and tickets for the week's festivities as well as the dance, plus Raptor goodies. Get yours while supplies last in the activities office. You can also buy singular tickets at the box office during lunch for $23 with activities fee and $28 without. Or you can buy tickets at the door for $30. Guest passes are in the Deans. For those of you who wanted a Social Studies Honor Society, today's your lucky day. Go down to self 255 to pick up a row kappa sheet. For any further questions, ask Mr. McLeave. On this episode's Raptor Spotlight, we have our cross country team. Our cross country team uses their great long distance running skills to win competitions. Cross country is the best thing that I've ever done.
Cross country, despite seeming like any other sport, is largely unique in its own way, starting with the students involved. Really, I, I honestly didn't even know what cross country was when I joined it. It just looked like a cool name, and then like I just like asked what my parents thought it was. They said it had something to do with running. And so I was like, all right, cool. Well, I mean, I did distance track in middle school. I was kind of good at that, so I, I just joined it. Love the people, love the captains. And until this day, I know them, even though they're in college, they're great friends of mine, and now I just stuck with it, and I really enjoyed doing it. Although running is the main focus of cross country, the sport goes up and beyond mere physical feats. Teamwork is a big part of cross country. Uh, we have a thing called squad, and it's just kind of an interlocking mechanism between all the teammates that helps us stick together. You know, practice is hard, and um, that deters some people from it. Uh, but when it when it comes down to it, I think the most beneficial thing from cross country is learning about yourself and learning about yourself with you know some of the best friends. Like all of the cross country team is those, those are my best friends. Cross country requires diligence, devotion, and patience, but doesn't take much for students outside the team to offer moral support and encouragement. Go to the meets. Literally, we have had like no one ever come to the meets. There's been like activity directors and stuff, but that's about it. Like we rarely have any kids that come to the meets at all. So come to the meets. Asking your friends who are in cross country, like, hey, how'd your race go? Or, I hope you do well today. I would think that encouragement, like if you can make it to a race, that'd be awesome. But I understand that they're hard to, they can be hard to get to, but really just asking and checking in would be great. With unity and partnership as the core of cross country, Eagle Crest athletes continue to prove there really is strength in numbers. On Yuki Higas, Raptor TV. Okay, Raptors, that's it for this week. We'll see you next week.